know it all. So, you start back to school, right? And I suspect that for every one of you, one of your school supplies is crayons, right? I love crayons. These are Hunter's crayons, actually, but I have my own crayons at home, too. But I brought this this morning because kids have all kinds of different crayons, and they kind of talk about, they kind of illustrate what I want to talk about today. In this box of crayons, we have some pretty good looking crayons. We have some that are kind of short and dull and stubborn. <coughs> the, the paper is all torn up and nasty looking. We have some that don't have any paper at all. They kind of lost their clothes. But what you see in here are all the different kinds of crayons. There's big ones and small ones. There's whole ones and broken ones. All different colors, all different sizes. Just all different kinds of crayons. The one thing I like about these crayons, as many different kinds as there are, they all fit in the same box. This box of crayons, in a lot of ways, is like a church. The church is made up of all different kinds of people. Some of us are really sharp, looking good. <laughs> Some of us are a little dull and a little shabby around the edges. Some people wear really nice clothes when they come to church. Some people's clothes are a little dirty and a little worn around the edges. We're all different colors in the church, aren't we? We're all different sizes in the church. We're all different kinds of people, but you know what? Kind of like these crayons all fit in this box. All of us, no matter how different we are from one another, we all fit in the church. Because that's how Jesus intended for it to be. Jesus' brother, or James, some say it was Jesus' brother, writes in the Bible that Jesus' followers should not show favoritism. He said, my friends, if you have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, you won't treat some people better than others. Suppose a rich person wearing fancy clothes and a gold ring comes to one of your knees. And suppose a poor person dressed in worn out clothes also comes. You must not give the best seat to the one in fancy clothes and tell the one who is poor to stand at the side or sit on the floor. That is the same as saying that some people are better than others. And we know that's not true, though. No one of us is better than anyone else in this room or anyone else outside this world. In Jesus, we are all exactly the same. Doesn't matter what our family looks like. Doesn't matter what we look at, doesn't matter what color we are, what ethnicity we are, what language we speak, whether we're big or small, tall or short, smart or maybe not quite so, all of us are the same when we stand before Jesus. Jesus loves each one of us the same. And that's one of the things I love about this church, is because it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how you dress or how you act or who you are, you welcome welcome. Father, help us to love one another as you have loved us, regardless of the color of our skin or whether we are rich or poor. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, you're invited to go to Children's Church if you would like. Thank you for being here today.